Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to see if we can nab ourselves a level 145 Therizino, which is, uh, I saw yesterday just right over that direction. Hopefully, it's still in the vicinity. I, I kind of memorized its colors. Um, So that's kind of our one of our main goals for today, anyways. I uh, haven't really done anything more with the, the treehouse at this point. But as you can see, I have this... Very pretty, autumnal colored, level 145 in the wild Argentavis. Uh, that was a tame of opportunity. And it was also a tame of major pain in the ass. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the footage from that and do uh, actually do a little bit of narration. Um, I probably should have just started the episode when it was all going down, but I was so it was so hectic and chaotic that it was crazy. So... Uh, check this out. All right, guys. So I'm out uh, with the Carno and the Bear here, and we. Are, I was actually looking for an Alpha Carno that had attacked earlier, and then this bird comes in and attacks, and I realize it's a it's a 145 Arch, and so I figure, well, okay, let's let's go ahead and try and tame it. Um, and so we start shooting at it, and everything's going well, and then all of a sudden, an Alpha Raptor shows up. <laughs> Oh shit! So now we have this alpha wrapper that we have to deal with, um, while the birds still, uh, you know, fighting too and starting to start to get damaged a little bit, which isn't good. So we have to get this alpha wrapper killed as soon as possible, and it's starting to mess up the bear too, as you can see here. So I start getting a little concerned about that. Then the dimorphs join in the fight, and so we kill the alpha wrapper, and then uh, we got another. Yeah, we have to take out uh, one more dimorph here i think the rg takes one out fortunately it eats um you know some of the dead critters so it can heal which is a good thing and uh, another yeah another raptor comes in then i think another raptor is going to jump in here yep right there so we kill that kill this last dimorph and then finally um we get back to it so we we get the bird down after several more shots later but you can see the bear is is very damaged I build some spikes around the bird and then just run up to it and check it and make sure that it's, um, uh, you know, that it's good and it is. Its health is up at about 75%. Um, and so then what I start doing is trying to get the, the bear healed back up before something else attacks because its health is really low and I do, do not want to lose this bear, of course. Uh, after a while, uh, I ask, after I starve the bird a little bit, I put some prime meat into it. It starts to stand up and then when uh in just a second here we're gonna oh uh, then a yellow drop came yeah so we ran over on the cardinal to grab that real quick while we were waiting and we get a plesiosaur blueprint and a paraceratherium platform saddle uh and we i don't know we might actually nab a, a high level a parser with that saddle we'll see uh could be useful maybe i don't know I, i'm not really a big fan of plesiosaurs though Okay, so now we're back here, and uh, the bird stands up, so we, we tamed it, but unfortunately the adventure's not over just yet. What I do is I end up moving the bear inside of the spikes after we check the bird's stats here, because it, it still needs to be healed back up, and uh, you know, I want to get it the bear inside the spikes before something else attacks, uh, like Trudons, for example. <laughs> so it starts up again, get attacked by Trudons. Uh, we deal with them, and then I get the bear inside the spikes here in a moment and start trying to heal it. And then guess what? An alpha raptor shows up. Uh, but fortunately, the alpha raptor can't get through the spikes. I try and shoot it, but then realize that you can't shoot through spikes. So that doesn't help. Um, so the ra alpha raptor runs off um, down into the river. And then it's going to come back here in a second. And then yeah, after a little while longer, it starts attacking my guys. So I have to tell, put them on neutral. And then another alpha raptor shows up. <laughs> I tell you what, you guys, it's just one thing after another. This is it was just crazy. Um, so you know, you can see the bear is still damaged, uh, pretty pretty significantly damaged. So I continue to try and feed that. Finally, my other guys kill the first alpha raptor. And so, um, in a bit, I pull up the spike to try and get out to get on the Carno to kill this second Alpha Raptor. Try to put the spike back in place, and then my stupid Carno walks right on into the trap. And then here comes the second Alpha Raptor. So, fortunately, he doesn't bite me the first time around, but he's going to turn around and take a big chunk out of my ass right here. Ouch. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, we finally get up on the, on the 
of the Carno, kill this Alpha Raptor, and then once we get it down, um, we finally are able to make it home. But man, I'll tell you what, this is just a crazy one thing after another um, situation. All right, cool. So yeah, um, very uh, pretty bird for one thing. Uh, it's a male, um, and our other one's still a male too, so we're gonna have to go after female. But uh, this this bird is potentially um, good enough for breeding. I, I'm I'm leveling it though because I also want to use it. But we can always tell what its original points were uh, simply by using the super spyglass, uh, and it'll tell us that. Uh, you know what? Too, I have since found out that. Uh, we can actually make binoculars in this game, uh, vanilla game, and it shows that information too, which is about time wildcard, but it's a very high-end, you know, element-based tool, so it's not something we're going to have access to anytime soon. But at least they put something in the vanilla game that allows you to see that information. I mean, I've always said from the start, you know, that's really critical data for us to see. Why the hell don't they just show us that by default? You know, if they're going to show these numbers, why not show what the actual, you know, score numbers are? So I don't know. Can't explain that, but it's just the way it works. So anyway, um, we're going to do a couple of things at the same time. We're going to start leveling October Sky here. Um, and we're also going to look for that Therizino. And I think for Sky, I want to get stamina to 2,000. We'll get health to at least 5,000, and then we'll sink everything else into melee. Um, as a part of that process, excuse me, uh, right up the hill, it's so weird that when you kill something on the bird, it stays in the air and doesn't fall to the ground. Uh, right up the hill, we have an explorer note, so we're going to grab that. We're going to see what it has to say and then use the buff that it gives us to get some levels on this bird. Uh, so it's, where is it? It's just right up, uh, right up the hill from the, from the log, I remember. I've got some other ones that I've marked on the map too, but I want to, for the most part, I want to get them on camera for those of you who are interested in the story. And also, you know, uh, I, I don't, I want to get them on a crater that I'm ready to level. So... Where the hell is it at? I thought there was like a little, um, like ruined stone wall up here, right up the hill from the lock. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a couple metal nodes right there by the base. Oh, there it is. I needed to come over just a little further. Okay, as usual, for those of you who already know the story or don't care, just fast forward until we're done. For the rest of you, let's see what this has to say. Okay, so this is one of the uh, Nerva ones, and it doesn't have a voiceover. So, I have allowed the Legion to take a reprieve from war, for uh, at least for now. We need time to gather our strength and plan our road to conquest before we march again. Augustus did not unite the Empire by rushing into battle. After all, after all. Such things take time and, more importantly, information. As I write, my scouts are mapping out the surrounding islands and observing any tribes that may oppose us. I have no doubt that they are not all like the Black Thumbs. One could very well prove to be my Mark Antony, and when I find him, I will be prepared. Okay, so yeah, this is the Roman centurion dude, his eighth note in the game, and he's trying to conquer, uh, you know, the island and create his own little empire. Okay, cool. So now we got uh, the tr uh, the leveling buff. So let's start killing stuff that we come across. But again, like I said, we're also looking for that Therizino. What I remember about its colors is it has a black stripe on top, then kind of a dark brown section, and then a purple, kind of a purplish body. So it should be fairly easy to recognize, assuming it's still more or less in the area. It was, uh, I believe, yesterday that I spotted it, so it could have definitely wandered off. Um, even possibly been killed, but that's not very likely. Uh, is that it right there? That doesn't look like the colors. Yeah, see, that's just a level 15. Oh, um, also... Um, I... I lost the beaver... <laughs> I, uh, I, I would have been fine. Okay, so here's the deal. I, I had the beaver out. I was 
going after cementing paste. Um, and the reason I use the beavers because I can get right into the water with it for that and fight any beaver, other beavers that attack. Um, and I saw an alpha raptor, so I dropped the beaver and the beaver and, and myself on the other RG before I tamed this one. Started attacking it, and everything was going reasonably well until another animal came in. The raptor killed it, or I killed it, or somebody killed it. Raptor ate it and, and healed back up, and then we lost the beaver. That's the long and short of it. So, yeah, it kind of sucks, but, you know, it's the arc happens, right? So we'll, we'll just have to get another one when the time comes. Anyway, let's keep flying around here. Uh, essentially, we're looking for a purple-bodied Therizino. And, oh, there's a Thylo over there. Look at that. Just waiting to pounce on us. What level is it? Because I do want to get a Thyla Kaleo if it's a good level. Nah, it's on level 10. <laughs> Don't care about that. Jeez, bugs. What the hell, man? Get the hell out of here. Okay, yeah, see that? That there could be anywhere, but I just I wasn't in a position to be able to tame it. Because you really have to babysit Therizinos because their torpor drops incredibly fast. And, you know, we have plenty of narcotic and even a little bit of that um, biotoxin left over to deal with that. But we got we to gotta babysit it. So, And I, I wasn't able to tame it because I only had a few minutes to play before I had to leave in real life. So, um, Hopefully we can find it. If not, you know, we'll, we'll come across another one. But I'm going to keep looking for a bit. And if I find it, I, of course, will let you guys know look at this a level 150 dodic female we're taking this one back that's a good find um i don't know what level our uh, i'm sorry I don't, I, I don't remember what sex our current dodic is but i'm pretty sure it's a male and I think it was a 90, an 80 or a 90, and it just wandered into camp. So, oh, I think that might be our theory down there. Uh, well, wait, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Um, yeah, so change of plans. Since this is a max level essential dino, we are going to tame this first, and then we'll resume the search for the Therizino. God damn it! This is pissing me off. Oh, come on! Jesus. I, I expended... 62 darts to knock this thing out, and I'll bet you 30% of those shots missed. That is such bullshit. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a little salty today because even before I started recording this episode, I crashed like four times in a row. I mean, literally crash, restart the game, open a menu, crash, restart the game, open a menu, crash. I, I am not exaggerating. <laughs> And I'm so, so I'm just a little bit salty right now. I, sorry. I try and stay positive, but oh, sometimes, man, I'll tell you what. Okay, well, the good news is we just downed a max level Dodic. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, we're not set up for kibble yet, but we should still get, in fact, you know what? Let me do something. I'm going to, I'm going to bring, um, Dododex up here for a second. Dodicarus level 150 with our taming rate, which is four. According to this, we'll lose one level. But that's okay because we're not we're not breeding this for an army. Uh we if I do get another max level, I might breed breed them a little bit, but I don't really want to go to all the time and effort to breed dinos that I'm not going to raise for the army. The advantage of doing it a little bit, though, is is for the imprint, you know. Um, so, yeah, according to this, if I feed it mayho berries, I will lose. Um, oh, you know what? I can feed it vegetables 
and it won't lose a level. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll feed it crops. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, because the crops, you know, are going to spoil fairly quickly, let's let it starve out just a little bit. And I am going to have to keep an eye on its um, torpor, too, because it, it will drop. Uh, it won't... It, we'll have to give it some narcotic, but not a ton. But this one, we're not going to be able to go the whole time without giving it a little bit. So I just have to kind of keep an eye on it. Is it tracking? Um, no. So we need to track it. So if we go into here to here. Okay, let's go to... Oh, you know what, though? Oh, yeah, I guess it does consider it a tame in progress, even though I haven't given it any food yet. Perfect. Okay, that way we can keep an eye on his torpor even when we're out doing our thawing. All right, guys, well, let's keep looking for that theory. Obviously, we can't actually tame it until we get the dodic out of that pin, but uh, I, I'd at least like to locate it. And we can also go get another explorer note for the buff and keep leveling up our RG here. So let's see, you got 5,000 health. Okay, so yeah, we're just pumping melee now. I'll probably put more points into health later, but I want to get the melee up for a bit uh, with these next few points that we're going to do. Now, let's take a look at the uh, map here. And I have, uh, there's an ex a couple of explore notes on that end of the island that I've marked. But, okay. Uh, seriously? Uh, I still... I, it's more important to me right now to find that that Therizina, though. So let's just go this way, and maybe we'll come across another Explorer note in the process. Uh, like case in point. Nice. That was fortuitous. I didn't even know this was over here. What level are you? Level 15. Okay. All right. Let's see what this one has to say. This is going to be another... Nerva because of the it's a it's always a pot. This is note 10. Who could have imagined that a simple convoy would give the new legion its first taste of adversity? Before today the ideas would seem absurd. They must have seen our approach because just as we spotted our prey, we found our left flank beset upon a pack of beasts. Though the creatures were smaller in size and number, they struck fast, they struck together, and they never lingered. By the time we chased them off for good, the convoy was long gone. Impossibly I spotted a single rider throughout it all. Who is she? If Mars has blessed me, does Minerva harry me? No, I was simply unprepared. I will not be again. So he's basically talking about um, there's a point in time in the story where Helena Walker, or um, it's not Helena Walker, um, May, May Lynn, I think her name is, the lady that tames the animals. She had tamed a pack of raptors, and she attacked Minerva and kind of kicked the shit out of him, and he wasn't expecting it. So that that's what that's about. Okay, anyway, um... Let's keep our eye. There's another Philo. That might be the same one, though. And those damn terror birds are so loud. Uh, that, is that the same one? Yeah, that's the level 15. We might... We should probably kill that thing. Just in case I fly over there and forget it's there. And then there's a micro raptor. Or no, that's an Archie, I think. Yeah, let's eliminate this guy because otherwise uh, we might fly over there and... Uh, have some problems. You want some too, Terrorbird? Got another point. We'll put that into melee damage. Let's get rid of... Oh, shit. No, I don't want to throw away the, the claws. The hook claws. We need those for one of the bosses. Don't remember which. 
Oh shit, let's just pick everything up again. There it was. Oh, there's another Thylo. Let's see what level it is. Uh, right over there. Level 25. Yep, same thing. Let's put it out of our misery. Where are you going? One thing that makes these critters uh, really good tames is they have a, a pretty pretty nasty bleed effect. Right, give ourselves some melee. Now we have four hook claws. There's an alpha. It's level 15. There's a Therizino. That's not the one we're looking for, but yeah, it's level 60. Let's kill this alpha while we still have our buff points. I want... I want the other critters away from it, though, so it doesn't heal up on us. That's what made us lose our beaver. Alright, let's do this. We're getting headshots, man. We're kicking the shit out of it. Nice. We got nine levels. Okay, let's um let's get you another thousand health points and then put these in the melee. Ooh, look at that! Holy crap, man! Uh, that's a 190 Mastercraft. This is a 145. That's a nice upgrade. We'll take it. We will take it, indeed. Okay, cool. Very nice. Let's get it loaded. And let's also make sure this is fully loaded. Is that another alpha? I think it might be. We have full health or close enough to it. It's level 50. Now we're getting headshots. Get out of here, Dillo. I don't want him eating that. Good, we ate it. <laughs> we'll get the health. get jack shit for loot but we got another six points which is good so yeah let's just put all these into melee this bird's gonna be pretty pretty strong by the time we're done leveling it and then like i said the plan is to also use it for breeding <sighs> okay so yeah i i don't know where the hell my purple therizino went to it could be anywhere right 
let's take a look at this Rex. Uh, we are interested in Rexes. I'm not so sure I'm... I don't know if I'm going to raise them for armies, but we want them for eggs, egg production, uh, if nothing else, right? All right. Uh, here, let's kill you. Let's see if we can get it down before our buff wears off. Oh, yeah, that'll be easy. Oh, I didn't get any points from that. Shit, really? What the hell, man? We just about did, though. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's fly up the river. And we'll see... Uh, we'll see if we can spot some more fairies. Because, I mean, that Therizino could have come and crossed the river and be halfway up the volcano by now, you know? It's just never no way to know. Look at all of those outlaws. That's kind of scary. Any good levels in there? 15, 10, 35, 120. That's pretty good. Hmm. All right. Well, just trying to think what I would need to do to prepare for an Allosaurus tame. I mean, we just drag it over to our pen. But we got to get rid of the other ones, A and B. We got the Dodic in the pin. So we'll we'll put a hold on that. If they're still around later, mm, we might do that. Uh, I mentioned this before, but I want Allosauruses for the Ice Cave because they're really good dinos to take in the Ice Cave. Let's run over by the beaver area and see if we can spot a decent level beaver to replace Toothy. May God rest her soul. <laughs> that sucked, man. I was just, you know, down here earlier today and cleared out the beaver, so they're probably it's probably just too soon for Oh no, I just heard one. I heard his little chatter noise. Oh well, there he's right there. Okay, what level are you, buddy? Level 25. Yeah, it's too low. Oh, wait. There's one right there, too. Didn't quite grab it. Uh, 90. 90 male. That's good enough. We'll take a 90 male. In fact, I think our other one was a 90 when we tamed it. Okay. So... Are there any dams that we can jack to get them to come to us? Uh, I don't see anything over here. No, I'm not spotting a dam. Okay, so we're just going to have to wait for the 90 to come up on shore. And I should be able to drop it in the pin with the dodic because as long as it, I don't get close enough for it to attack, it's not going to cause a problem. Let's see. I got my oxygen to, oh, I guess to 210. That's all the higher I want to get that. Let's just keep pumping health, I guess. And what is that? Uh, we're now level 88. Does that give us enough to get the cooker? Uh, nope. One more level. Okay. No worries. Uh, we can do the grill too, but that stuff we're going to be building up in the treehouse because we're kind of out of room in our little starter shack for the moment. We got it. Okay. All right, let's head on back and drop this in the pen and get it tamed up too. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wait to knock this out before the until the dodic is completely up. I don't want to take the chance of screwing up a perfect tame on a level 150 dino, even if it is a dodic. It's just going to take a little more time is all. 
Oh, incidentally, I put Plant Species X up on the roof on this side to protect the Pheomias because Argies kept spawning and attacking them. But I do have them, I think, on either low or medium range. I don't want them to attack our tames that we bring in. Okay, yeah, so he'll be fine there. Let's just go grab that uh, uh, double drop or high level drop or whatever the right term is. Whenever it's got the rings around it, it's supposed to have either more loot or better loot. I can't remember what which one. Maybe both. I don't know how much time's on this, so I'm going to take a chance. If he bites us, he bites us. Really? Oh, uh, well, okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that and that. What is that? Oh, it's a behemoth gate, I guess. What is this? Wood fence foundation. Large walls. Okay, I mean, you know, it's... You know what? On second thought, I'm going to take all this because I'm planning on making the treehouse a wood base. We don't need to make it out of stone because it's going to be up out of the way. Nothing's really going to be able to hurt it. Theoretically, I guess maybe a giga could reach it, but there's no gigas in this area. Um, speaking of Giganotosaurus, though, there is a level 80 up in the caldera of the volcano, because I was up there early this morning getting some obsidian. So, I don't know. We might, uh, if it sticks around anyway, we might go after that at some point. But we're not prepared to do that yet. We're going to need either a high-level uh, Tapahara or a Quetzal before we attempt something like that, because we got to stay, you know, up in the air and still be able to shoot from its back. Okay, so yeah, this wasn't actually as lame as I first let out to be, because it is going to help us uh, with our build. Poopy, what are you doing? Let's give you some more health. Not gonna carry the otter with me until I need it, just because I don't want to lose it. Okay, let's get into the building crate and pray to God we don't crash here. I'm just so nervous anymore about opening these storage bins. Uh, okay, yeah, we got that done. Let's open the equipment bin. Put that in there and. Where did I get 50? Oh, I must have got those out of the drop. Yeah, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Put those in there. All right, let's grab some veggies. What do I have the most of? I've got 155 potatoes, 164 of these. All right, so let's grab um, a few lemons. We'll grab... A few potatoes and a few carrots and the corn is what I have the least amount of so we'll leave the corn uh, there and also actually I want to save this for the Therizino tame so we'll just use uh, we'll just, oh shit oh that always scares me the plants are attacking something Anyway, we'll just use um, narcotic for the dodic and the beaver. The beaver's definitely going to need it. I also need to make some more trank darts too because the game made me waste a whole shit ton of them. So yeah, this according to Dota Dex, we should be able to get uh, a, a perfect team with veggies. I kind of like the light blue colors on this, too. It's nice looking. Kind of sky blue, maybe. I will name it Sky. I named that RG in the single player game, Sky. Um, what level are you? You are level 20. You could cause problems for us, so we probably better deal with you. I'm over here away from my, my stuff. Huh. 
hyenodons definitely could cause trouble for us. It's another Dodic. 105 female. Um, nah, I don't think we need that. Not a bad specimen, but we're fine with with what we got. See, that's the nice thing about the veggies is they they uh, stand up a, a little faster than the berries too. So yeah, we still have our full 74 levels, and we should we should keep those with these veggies according to Dota decks. All right, while we're waiting for you to stand up, which you probably will in another bite or two, let's make some more trank darts for the beaver. Get out of here. All right, according to Dodo Dex, uh, with our 190 damage crossbow, It'll take uh, fewer Trank arrows than it will darts to knock out that 90 beaver, so we'll use the crossbow. And there's no chance of death. Just waiting for the Dodic here. I think that's our... Actually, yeah, that is our first level 150 tame in this whole entire series, I think. Uh, definitely on the server. I don't know. I don't think I tamed to 150 when we were doing single player either, but... Yeah, so cool. Red letter moment. All right, we're gonna call you Sky Blue. No, not Sky Bavalu. Sky Blue. Uh, let's grab those veggies off you. Put a saddle on you. And ladies and gentlemen, we just have our uh, first perfect max level tame of the series. No, I don't want you. Actually, you know what? Here, just. Hop down there for a second. You're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to go anywhere far. All right, I'm just going to drop Sky Blue right in the pen for the moment. The pen's starting to get a little crowded. That um, Kentro is a little bit concerning. What level is it? 35. Yeah, it's certainly big enough to wreck our day. Um, let's get it out. Yeah, let's get it out of here. Get it away from the beaver. I don't want it to impale us. Get her knocked out, or I should say him knocked out. Should be going down any moment because Dota Dex said it's only going to take eight bolts. Yeah, it's uh, it's doubt. Nice, cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to let this um, starve a little bit just because. Uh, because the veggies, you know, spoil so quickly and then get it up. But uh, we're I think we're out of time, guys. In fact, I think I probably went too long. <laughs> it's just time goes by so fast. Um, I think we're going to go and wrap up the episode here. I'll get the beaver up and then probably continue my search for that theory a little bit longer anyways off camera. And if I find it, then we'll start the next episode at that point. If not, then we'll figure out what's going to happen next. I, I really need to get started with the build of our main base so we can get it fully set up. And then the next priority after that is to start taming the dinos that we need to start a kibble farm. Uh, so with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.